All right. Here we go. Back on. <clears throat> All right. Everybody's saying it's working now. Damn, and those numbers are climbing. Wow. Okay. Have you seen Supernatural? I, I don't really watch too much TV. I know. Um, we hop on the Netflix every now and then, but we're busy parents, man. We got a schedule around our kid. Um, can you tell us anything about the finale? I can tell you that it involves a train, and I can tell you that a certain individual from last season will be making another appearance. What are your thoughts on 911 Lone Star? Hey, it's working again. Not looking in. Okay, got you. Um, hey, Ollie does send all his love and everything. Um, I think what we'll do at this point in time is he'll do his own live. Uh, I think he's live tweeting actually the episode. Um, you know, he's definitely, he, he loves all you guys. So, uh, we'll just do that on a separate time. Are we getting more Diaz Buckley family scenes? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. There's always going to be those scenes. I mean, I, I like that whole dynamic. I like, yeah. It's five in the morning over there. Damn, I couldn't. Thank you guys so much. Slovakia in the building. Wow. España, gracias. New York, we got everybody. Are you or Eddie left-handed? You wear a watch on the right hand. So I'm left-handed. Um, kind of ambidextrous, I found out later on in life. Uh, but uh, I guess I say more left-handed. You could pick a theme song for Eddie. What would it be? What would you pick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably pick something stupid and funny. Italia. All right. Nice. We got Italy in the building. Um, Sweden's here too. Very nice. Okay. Norway. We got Manila. Dang. Holland. Wait, I'm kind of lost. How many episodes until season three ends? I believe this is 14. So we got four more episodes. Gracias, Costa Rica. Uh, Wisconsin. We got Canada. Albania. We are the UN in here. We got San Diego. Texas. Of course, Brazil. Ooh, Jalisco. There we go. Bienvenidos, Jalisco. Yes, that's my familia. Uh, marry me, Saudi Arabia. All right. Thank you for staying up for me. All right, cool. I think it's Dikirana. Sorry if I jacked up your name. Mas Mexico. There we go. Germany. Much love from Dubai. Utah. Hablas algo in Portuguese. Uh, I wish I could, man. Fomeguinho. Like, I know how to say ant. I know how to say... <laughs> it's like small little things, man. I, I wish I could. I'll practice it with my girl and, and get back to you. Atlanta, Georgia. I love Atlanta. I was out there filming a couple years ago. I love it. Argentina in the building. Australia. Portugal. Man. All right. So anybody else got any more questions? Um, I'm here to answer them. Uh, let's see what time it is. Let's see how long I'm going to go for. Uh, I'll probably go for another, let's say, 2.15. 2.15, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to go right back to reposting a lot of uh, the stories that are a lot, uh, that our first responders have been sending in. So please, now that I got everybody's attention, um, please inform any first responders that you may know, or if you're a first responder yourself, um, post it on your story with the hashtag share your story and then tag 911 Fox or 911 on Fox. And uh, we'll repost, we'll reshare on, on this page so everybody sees it. Who's, who, who's the guest star on number one and what role would they play? Who would you like to guest star on number one and what role would they play? 
Man, we got really good guest stars, actually. Um, I've been very impressed with the people that we've gotten and the talent that we've gotten. Um, but I don't know who, would, who would I'd ask for. What would I? What would advice? What advice would I give to an aspiring actor? Don't quit. Work hard. Don't quit. Because honestly, talent means this much here. I'm proof of that. <laughs> but uh, honestly, uh, you know, for a person that never wanted to become an actor, that found this opportunity, and thank God he did. Um, all I knew that I I could do was just work my butt off and. Uh, just continue to learn and grow as much as I possibly could. So for all those actors out there that are trying to come out to L.A. or wherever you guys are trying to make movies or TV shows, um, always be working on something. Never give yourself a reason or excuse to stop. If you can't download scripts, you know, do what I did when I was in the beginning, which is just write them on a uh, paper um, and, and get to work. What are your thoughts on Eddie potentially dating his son's teacher? Uh, I'm mixed about that because personally, I think the whole um, deceased wife should hit Eddie a little harder. Uh, but then again, um, who knows? Who knows? Would you want to be a firefighter in real life after playing one on TV? I love the brotherhood, the family atmosphere. Um, it's not even just a brotherhood because we got sisters in here too. But uh, yeah, I love I love the way firefighters interact with each other and really have each other's back. So yeah, I mean, in a different life, I would have definitely become a firefighter. Okay, what else we got? Where am I from? I'm from Sacramento. So I was born in Texas, Abilene, Texas, but I was only there for about a year and a half because my dad was in the Air Force. Um, and I moved to Sacktown uh, shortly after that, and I was raised for most of my life there. What's your biggest difference from working on a film opposed to working on a television show? Just time. You know, TV is is a, a beast. Um, you know, we get our scripts all at the same time sometimes and sometimes we don't have enough time to really you know dive into the character we kind of just have to go for it and it's a uh, really fast pace and we do a lot we try to fit a lot into a small schedule um and we're working very hard 12 to 14 hour days you know six days sometimes out of the week so uh you don't really do that much with tv i mean with movies movies you have the opportunity to really dive into the character do your research you know figure out what parts mean more to you than you know, not in the, uh, what you really need to dive into. Which one do you like doing better, movies or shows? Like I said, they both offer a little different. I mean, the security I get with this TV show and the opportunity I get with this TV show is, is incredible. Uh, so thank God for 911. Uh, it's forever changed my life in the most positive way. Um, that being said, I... I love my movies. I love my movies. I love, you know, trying to just try different characters and do different things. I want to play a bad guy. I want to go back to playing a bad guy. I think um, The Boy Next Door was the last time I played a real, real bad guy. Am I still in contact with Tyler Hecklin? Oh, yeah. I mean, Tyler Hecklin, he's, he's doing his thing. He always does his thing. We lived together, actually, for a year. I don't know if anybody really knows that. Um... But yeah, he was he was living with me and, and one of my other friends. Uh, and then when we went our spe our separate ways, he uh, he I think he got a place in Paris or something. I don't know. He's he's always traveling though. You bring a hell of a character performance to nine one one. Thank you so much. Honestly, uh, as a person that really is hard on themselves, I, I don't get an opportunity to to really enjoy my character. So your guys' feedback does help a lot, and I hope that you guys like it. Uh, never seen The Boy Next Door before. You don't have to. I mean, it's not a requirement here. Um, if you want to, be like every other movie that I've been into. Be naked. Do I need a haircut? Nah, I'll fade myself. If you could have played a different character, who would you have chose? If we're talking about 911. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I think that character is pretty specific. I couldn't really play Chimney. Couldn't really play Hen. So uh, what else? I, I could play Buck. Um, I could play Maddie's brother. That'd be interesting. Flip the roles. Let's see Ollie's best version on trying to be Mexicano. Are you and all of her best friends in real life? We're really good friends. I love the fuck out of that dot. Ooh, love the... You know what I'm saying. He's a good guy. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, we love Eddie. Thank you so much for him. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what's your favorite part of doing the show? I said it earlier, but it's the cast and crew. I love hanging out with them. They make the days, the long days go by quicker. And... Uh, they don't get enough credit, but man, we got some hardworking people. I need some answers, please. Why do they cover your tattoos and not Oliver's? I was told that these were a little bit too much. Um, I don't know. If y'all think it's a good look, then write in. Because I would love to not sit in that chair and get these things covered every single day. Is Fight Club your favorite movie? One thousand percent. Yeah, Lion King, my favorite movie as a as a kid. Fight Club, my favorite movie as an adult. Um, your point. Per, uh, when Eddie was pissed, your performance was amazing. Man, I I love the love. Thank you. What role would you like Mateo to see you in? Oof. Uh. Probably this one. Probably 911. Um, I don't know what happens in the future, but uh, something grounded. Something really nice, and I think this is it. I would like to. I, I don't know if I want Mateo really uh, watching Daddy. Because <laughs> a lot of my movies, like I said, have a lot of nudity in them. Fight Club. Yeah, we love Fight Club. Your friendship with Oliver makes me so happy. Guzman. Um, do you have contact with the actor that plays Christopher? I don't have contact with him. That'd be a little awkward because he is young, young. Uh, I do have contact with the, the family. Um, the family is incredible. I believe his sister actually was just out in um, I think Italy or somewhere, somewhere in Europe actually shooting the Eternals. So that is a talented family. Our talent, full family. Um, Buck begins. We've been talking about that actually. You guys can settle something for us. Is the first season uh, pretty much a Buck begins, or do you guys really want to see him back in the you know Navy trying to be a Navy SEAL? Because I'm sure they'll write it if you guys want it. You've actually smashed it as Eddie. I can't wait for the night show. Man, y'all. Again, it means so much to me. Thank you. Do you have a pet? I do have a pet. I have two dogs. I have one tiny little toy poodle uh, who, if y'all want, you can have. Because he, you don't want him inside your house. And then I have a big dog, a um, little lab mix. Uh, his name's Leo. Do I want to visit Portugal? Of course I want to visit visit Portugal. Yeah, I want to visit everywhere. Everybody's saying we want to bug begins. Okay, well, I'll talk to the higher-ups, and I'm sure Oliver's seen this right now. He'll definitely talk to the higher-ups, and let's get it done. I probably won't be in Buck Begins unless I'm at the very end of that, so that'll give me a couple weeks off, so I'm all for it. How's quarantining with my quarantining with my family? I love this time I'm spending with my son and my girl. My relationship has never been stronger. I've never loved my girl as much as I do now, uh, or have been able to appreciate her as much as I do now. And my son is just, I have never had this time with him, nor seen an individual grow the way he's growing. Being a first time father, this is time that I'll I'll never get back and I, I I'm just relishing in it. Next time go live with Oliver please. Man, I tried to. Wanna play Fortnite? JK, I don't play Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite either. My brother does. 
uh, every now and then I'll get on on Call of Duty and do that Warzone. Oh, that's wonderful. So happy for you, man. All right. We're coming up on 2.15. I got one more minute, and I'm going to probably head out, guys. Uh, what was the fight scene process? Okay, a little thing that people don't really know about the fight scenes. Um, and I probably shouldn't be spilling this anyways, but it was a big hit for me. Uh, I was so amped and so juiced to, to you know, show off MMA skills and, and, and what I've been training uh, for the past 20-something years now. And come to find out within the first couple of takes, I cut my foot on, on the cage and I was bleeding all over the place. I tried to continue. I didn't realize, obviously. And then I was told to go to the ER, got stitches. And from that moment on, I couldn't really do any of the fighting. So unfortunately, there was maybe one take I did where I actually fought. And the rest of it was somebody else. Okay, so I'm starting to see that you guys definitely... You guys definitely want to see Eddie dance. You you definitely want to see Eddie sing. I think y'all want to see me dance a little bit more than sing, to be honest. Um, but when my music comes out, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. All right, guys. So it's 2.16 now. Um, I'm going to have to say goodbye to everybody. I had a great time talking to y'all. I hope I answered most of your questions. Um, if not... I'm sure there'll be another opportunity and we'll do this live thing again. So love you guys. See you guys tonight. Enjoy the show tonight. And again, first responders, send me those videos so we can reshare. All right. Love and love. Bye.